God was referred to as our Father 13 times in the Old Testament. Jesus' frequent use of this title brought a whole new understanding of our relationship with God. Jesus referred to God as his Father 127 times, and he spoke of God as being our Father 30 times. This infuriated the religious Jews of Jesus' day, who considered it blasphemy to call God their Father, because they perceived that to mean they were equal with God. God also speaks audibly three times in Jesus' life. He spoke audibly three times and in each case pointed to Jesus his son. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. This is my son, listen to him. I have glorified your name and will do it again. All 157 verses that you are about to hear, came directly from the mouth of Jesus. Jesus is speaking of God his Father, and our Father. Jesus has the words of life and says follow only me, for eternal life. Who dares to call Jesus a liar? Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them, otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven, that thine arms may be in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bonds, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your Father. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the Son in the kingdom of their Father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, 
For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. And he saith unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, thy will be done. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou wilt. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? Be ye therefore merciful, as your father also is merciful. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory and in his father's and of the holy angels. In that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my Father hath appointed unto me, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. 
And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. And said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house an house of merchandise. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. I can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. No man can come to me, except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard, and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I and the father that sent me. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the father that sent me beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father, if ye had known me ye should have known my Father also. Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. I speak that which I have seen with my Father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your Father. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. As the father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, 
that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believed not. The works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me. My father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my father, for which of those works do ye stone me? Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, Thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise. Let us go hence. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Herein is my father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. As the father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. 
even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. He that hateth me, hateth my Father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my Father. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more, all things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs. But the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father, and am come into the world. Again I leave the world, and go to the Father. Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These words spake Jesus, and lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one, as we are, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, for thou lovedst me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath. The cup which my father hath given me, shall I not drink it? Jesus saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which, saith he, ye have heard of me. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my Father. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my father in his throne.